guys, it's me, it's Musk One, and today we're going to look at my Hanyu collection, a video that has been really, really hard for no reason to record. So, yeah, let's just get into it. I'm recording this, and I don't know what's going on because I could just be like pretty, like okay ish talking, like kind of low, low ish at a time. So, it was kind of easier for me to record a lot of my videos because. So I'm with my family and everything like that. So it'd be kind of weird for me to obviously go through like a really loud speaking voice. But now, for some reason, I need to be like that 24 7. Well, I don't mind personally. If I'm with my family at home, it is kind of weird for me to be like come almost yelling at like a binder. So I, I think that's what happened. Oh my, I did it. Okay, so let's start over. Um, Actually, you guys have probably already saw me, but let me just quickly just do my introduction because, you know, I'm not a mess. Okay, welcome back. Or maybe I'll just keep it like that and whatever, but <laughs> basically, yeah, I've tried to record this four times now. This is the fourth try, and I think it's because of, like, how my microphone is working now. I don't know what happened, what changed, what even is going on. But basically, I can't really talk as quietly as I usually do. Um, again, like I said in the beginning, that's not a problem. But like when I have my family home, it is kind of awkward to do. So that's why I talk a little bit quieter, softer, and so on and so forth. So now, what I'm thinking of doing now is just recording a shitload of videos in one day. And then just uploading them separately throughout the day. Just when I am free and by myself. Which is only like a couple of days of the week, but definitely if I do at least like two or three recordings, that should be good. But yes, I think I figured out what I have to do. It is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. I wish my microphone was better so that I can just talk. Um, actually, I'm so like nervous of like this really working or not. So I'm actually gonna do recording check on this recording itself because you have no idea how tiresome it is to record half an hour to 40 minutes of content and then the microphone to be like i just don't feel like working today so i'm gonna just be right back you know y'all i got the airpods in i it was so packing up i don't know what's going on i really don't i don't even know if this thing works like with my airpods so actually i want to test something i'm gonna walk I walked to the closet and it didn't work. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I got another pair of headphones. This time with, I know for a fact, a mic of its own. You know, this kind of honestly makes a lot of sense because recently I had a FaceTime call with one of my friends and they had a hard time hearing me. So I guess that's a thing. I might have to. This, this might be my era of doing voiceovers. I don't know, something just doesn't feel right. Like something is just not right on my phone. I am planning on getting a new phone, but I'm waiting to see what the next one is. But like, man, this is so annoying. <laughs> um, Actually, I'm gonna cut again. You guys are all gonna see this because I just wanna want you guys to experience what I've been experiencing. So I'm just gonna quickly cut this again. Check this and then we'll see what I'm gonna do next. Okay, so actually I'm gonna quickly show you. This is what's connected to my phone right now. So I mean if it, it worked, you guys heard, you guys heard it worked. It worked. So I don't know why that worked, but not this one. Like what what's the what? Like I don't know. Stuff is breaking in my house. I don't know. But I'm just happy that at least something worked and we can actually get on with this unboxing. <laughs> I love how I said unboxing, but it was more like a foot through. God, why? I still don't get it. Like my AirPods also didn't work. So I... <sighs> calm down, calm down. It's okay, it's okay. Um, definitely something is up with like the actual like, mic of my phone, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see. Maybe I'll like overhaul everything and try something else but let's finally get into this unboxing that i've been trying to do for like the past week <laughs> and that's why there hasn't been any uploads on not unboxing up collection haul sorry so used to saying unboxing 
um, yeah, let's just get right into Hanzo's collection. Um, I do want to say thank you for watching so far, <laughs> even with all that, like, mix up and everything. Like, I might even put, like, some more clips here and there of me, like, talking, because, like, it was just so sad how it just wasn't working for the longest time. But, you know, this is kind of weird, but if it works, it works. So, yeah, let's just continue. Real quick, special shout out to my friend, my Instagram, room. Here, there's the ant. They reminded me about this and like how I wanted to do this a long time ago. But then they're like, oh, you should do that. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. It's been a while. I've been meaning to. I'm so down to do a video of my Hagu collection. So I just how this video was born. Um, of course, I wasn't expecting all of these technical difficulties. I definitely think it happened because I went to the beach and my phone. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, my phone got like something inside of it, probably like some dust or sand. So that is a pain in the ass, but let's just keep on going. <laughs> so yes, let's just go right in. We have the oh, oh, front page, you know. I saw this on Twitter, I really liked it, I printed it out. Granted, it's not the highest quality. I feel like if I really wanted like a really nice one, I would honestly try and make one myself and get it like prof professionally done, but you know for right now this is more than fine and yeah um i have been thinking about getting a decal decal with like hangyo binder or whatever but that's not even true because this is currently sharing a binder with songyun so we'll see him at the end uh, but mainly today we're just looking at hangyo so here we are very first page of course we start off with x1 so we have the shokan the album and then the fan kit um, these two were very first for me. This was my first time ever joining a group order for this. And then this was my first time ever doing a reclaim on anything before. Which, well, it's kind of like joining a group order. It was very interesting for me to do. But yeah, that's uh, another thing that you're going to hear a lot. A lot of firsts with my Hangyo collection. So, get ready for that. God, I feel like you can hear me like swallow and uh, I might edit that out. But uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I swallow a lot. I'm a dehydrated bitch. Actually, let me quickly drink some water. Okay, so here we have just a circuit card that I got as a freebie. Then we go on to the postcard and bookmark. So the bookmark was from the album and then this postcard was from the Shokan merch. And of course on the back have the postcards that came with the album and then the kit album postcards. And then we get into the first thing, <laughs> uh, which is happy day which was the first thing after, you know, the whole thing, January 6th. So, uh, yeah, uh, it was very hard getting these. Again, this is another first. This is my first time ordering through like a supplier. Like, ah, uh, there was a, there's a specific word for this, but like someone that actually goes to the event and then you pay for their stuff, like to get in and then also for them to get this stuff. So obviously this cost a lot more because it was an in-person thing. So yeah, very stressful period of my life, but I'm thankful I was able to at least get it also. So it was pretty good, it was pretty good. Um, still very stressful, but like these are like some of my favorite photo cards from him. Like they're just so adorable. So I'm very happy I have them. Wouldn't give them up for anything. And now we go into my like miscellaneous section. So I have some extra cards here. But then you will notice this card and then these cards. I go from top to here. Um, this one is just from a 10 star on their magazine they had. I joined a group order obviously because I wanted to increase my chances of a Hangul card. Thankfully the group order I joined, Hangul group orders. Again, I want to mention the name a couple more times throughout here because they're really honestly one of my favorite group order managers and a really good one specifically for Hangyul. So they got really lucky and they got Hangyul and Dohyun pretty much guaranteed for everyone. And then we got like our other top picks. So of course I chose Jamin. So that was very nice and lucky. Um, the backs are the same-ish, but it just has the signatures. This card though, I have a quick word of advice. If you're collecting someone, um, and you see a card that you haven't seen much often or know that they're on the higher end for things 
if you think to yourself, hmm, I, I usually pay like maybe five to ten dollars less for them. I should wait a little bit and see if it goes down. That's your first mistake. Just buy it at that price. If you do see it as a cheaper price later, then obviously it does feel bad. But what feels worse is seeing that card be posted for almost double, triple the price that you saw it the first time. And then now you're afraid that you're never gonna see that card again. So you buy it at that price. That's what happened with me and this card. Um, I originally saw it for a pretty higher price than usual than I would pay for Hangyo. Um, this is Tower Records pre order card. It's not even that rare, but you know, people love to overprice on you. Um, I guess it is kind of rare, anyways. Um, but yeah, and then later on, I saw it for a ridiculous amount of pr uh, crazy price. Um, it might still be the last listing on Mikari Japan, so if you want to know what, what it was, you're yeah, more than welcome to go look at it. But I was like, damn, I guess I gotta pay the price now. So yeah, just don't, just if it's like maybe five or ten dollars more, but you've rarely seen it on the Mercari, get it as soon as you can, please, I beg you. This is a lesson learned for me. Then next, of course, we go into Soulmate, one of my favorite eras, one of my favorite albums, everything about that is just so good. Like H&D really came through. Like, I'm so happy they even did this in the first place, even though they only had, like, a, a debut and a comeback. I'm more than happy with that. It was so, so necessary for me to be alive. Although, that stuff is so bad, but, like, um, it just really, like, helped me get through, like, the tough times in 2020. Definitely. It was such a good time with them. So, thank you, H&D. But yes, as you can see, I have a full Hangyo collection. I have the group cards in the middle, and then of course the group cards in the middle here. And of course, I try to match the outfits, as you can see. Um, I guess I should choose like my favorite photo card now, uh, since that's a thing. It's actually kind of interesting seeing it from this page, because like I definitely really like... These are like my two favorite concept, uh, favorite photo cards from each concept, and they're like right next to each other. So I didn't intentionally plan that either. I just kind of, you know, did whatever. But yeah, that's that's that. And then as you can see, <laughs> I have so much extras. Um, so if you ever need some, just hit me up. I'm down to sell it for you. Um, but yeah, and then we get into the first comeback umbrella, which is still one of my favorite like chiller songs from like anyone in this whole k-pop community it was so good it's so good it's still my favorite yeah it's still umbrella 9 out of 10 i would even say probably like 11 out of 10 actually just kidding 10 out of 10 100 out of 10 you know it's a such a good song it's such a good song but enough of that as you can see i have hongo's full collection and then i have one card missing for dohyun which um I am on the lookout for it, but if you have that or know someone that's trying to sell it, please let me know or willing to trade, I'm down for whatever. Then we get into the standees from Soulmate. The message cards, I have Hangyo's. And then of course we have more pre-order cards. So I have the postcards for Umbrella, I think from Tower Records again, I could be wrong. Then I have the stickers, the group, Hangyos and Dohyuns. I have a lot of Dohyuns, but this is actually my only Hangyo. And then we get it into this, which is a broadcast card. Thankfully, someone reached out to me and offered me to give, offered to give me this card. So I, of course, I wasn't really looking for it, but like, I'm not gonna miss up an offer of a broadcast card that would complete my collection even more. So I was like, sure. And then they offered me a really good price. Like, I mean, a really good price. So of course. I was like, sure, let me just get it. And there was a sister. So if I forgot the at, I can look through my DMs and everything. But there were group order manager for, I think, um, NCT. So if you know who you are, thank you. But again, just in case, here's their at. But if I probably wouldn't find it. So there's probably a picture of Hanyo. But yeah, um, thank you again so much for reaching out for me. It really helped me. But yeah, let's just move on to this now. This has a nice story with it. <laughs> nice is very, eh, I wouldn't say it nice in a good way, but 
basically i saw this on twitter i'm pretty sure uh for sale around like early 2020 so i was like hey um i saw this do you mind selling it to me and they offered a pretty good price and i was like oh okay sure i paid them everything and then i just had to wait for them to ship it out and then this was like i said early 2020 so corona wasn't as bad so i was like, okay i'll just wait a bit longer and then corona hit and then i was like okay I'll wait, I'll just wait a little bit more too, just cause you know, everything's going on. And then it wasn't until June that year, I was like, okay, now it's taking a little bit longer than it should be. Like, I don't know, like packages are slow and everything is backed up, but it shouldn't really take like five, six months to get to me. <laughs> so I was just like, I'm just gonna look up for another card. And then boom, I found another card. The price of the card was really good. But then the shipping of everything, of course, because it's Corona right now, uh, was crazy high. So I was like, <sighs> but I, don't, I want this card so bad. So I just chucked up and paid them. And then I got it like literally a week after I paid them. And I was like, thank you so much for everything. And then I shit you not, two weeks later, I got the original card that I paid for it back in early um, 2020. So... That's why I have two broadcast cards. Um, am I gonna give one away? I don't know, probably not, just cause of the whole situation that happened with that, but. <sighs> okay, now we get into this, which again, in my original thing, I had a whole fiasco about this. I really talked about this, but I'm at this point where it's just like, I'm just, I, it's not gonna change MBK's ways. It's just not. So basically, short, long story short, all of this costs way too much <coughs> like like you could have sold this as a full set for like 15 20 bucks but instead you sold like each of them like each separate card and set because you know dohyun of course you came with how you on dohyun you made it 7.99 for two cards and then there's five other cards or like five other sets uh four other sets to collect so five in total that's a lot of money for basically five cards well ten cards so i don't know that never so right with me but also another thing is that oh sorry <clears throat> i'm really like trying not to get heated here but another thing is that these cards you decided to make a random you know that's fine i'm not i'm not too opposed with like random things if you purchase a certain item the boys did it, Luna did it, basically almost everyone with pre-order benefits does it, so that's not my problem. My problem was, if you do it with like separate merchandises that all have very varying prices. So, you could buy a, a phone strap, a little pouch, which I don't have, or a t-shirt, and you have a chance of getting some a random card between Hagyo and Dohyeon. In theory, it sounds like each item has an own their own like chance of getting Hangul Dohyeon, right? And that's what everyone thought too. So obviously some people put up some cards like this one for the price of a t-shirt since they got it from the t-shirt. But it wasn't until way later that we found out you can literally just buy these and you can probably complete all of Hangul's cards. But of course no one knew that not until way later so you can see where i'm going with this i thankfully got really lucky because i bought two of these so one of them came from um, my own unboxing and then one of them came from um ebay which i bought the other one from and then the last one i joined a group order and i got really lucky with the pool so yeah i can't i really it was just so fucking stressful but it's still i love this set it's very colorful it has a lot of meanings behind it but still so bad so bad so bad so bad i was just so bad <laughs> anyways now we go on to bae 173 um of course i i told myself at the beginning if it's a nine member group i'll collect ot9 and then of course we found out it was a nine member group and I was like, I don't know, <laughs> I, I was second guessing myself. 
But as I started collecting BAE173, ignoring all the missing cards, I'm trying my best, but like I said, it's kind of hard finding all these cards. Actually, I think I have a bit card that I've been meaning to open. Yes, okay. So I actually do have a card. I'll open it here, but here we are. It says, hello, thank you so much for buying from bit for me. I hope he arrives quickly. Please let me know what he does. So shout out to this person's at. I don't know if you guys can see it. But yeah, they let me buy a bit card, which I think is, yes, the yellow one. Red is still one of my concepts that I need the most of. So please help me with that. But yes, this completes my yellow set. <sighs> I'm getting close to it. I'm just getting so close. I'm so close to completing this set. I can't wait. Because realistically, like I said, red is the set that I need the most of. But I only need one card for yellow, which was bit. And then one card for blue, which is Yujun. So I can't wait at all. So even though this is not technically a Hangyo, like, part of, like, this is not Hangyo, like, BAE173 is, I would consider it still, you know, obviously, Hangyo within the group, so. And I'm collecting all tonight, so. Anyways, that's, like, besides the point. Um, yes, look at that. Oh. So, now I have the yellow set completed and the AR set completed. Just need one more card for blue and then three more for red. We are so close. But anyways, let's just move on to uh, Trace. As you can see, I have the pre-order cards completed. Voila. And then actually, this was super easy to collect because this time it was only two sets. But of course, we had like the extra like, pre-order photo card sets. So it was, it was kind of both these equally stressful, but yes. So here we are. I love the backs of these cards, but now we get into the meat and grits of this. <laughs> um, wow, I don't even feel like talking for much longer because I I can go on and on about Blink Pool. But anyways, I had an unboxing of the original big box with them because you know they did. A, this is a, was Hong Yoo's first collab with anything. So I of course wanted to support as much as I can. So yeah, I have an unboxing right here. It's probably carded, um, but yeah, man. So this came with the big box. And of course with the original um, thing, there was eight photo cards to collect. And I of course, knowing my luck, I am extremely unlucky. I got every card except this one. So I, I tried to post, I posted something on um, Twitter. I was like, does anyone have this card, please? I just need this card. And then someone DM me saying, oh, I think I saw that card on Mikari. And I was like, Mikari? I think they specifically said buy you too. I was like, oh, okay, I'll definitely give them a try. And then I can. Not at first. Uh, my first time using buy -E. Um, So very interesting. I I used uh, Che Bums, uh, Randy's, um, uh, what is it? Like, discount where you got like $20 off so shout out to you if you're watching probably not but uh yeah it was very interesting using a uh, proxy service for the very first time but you know with that code I basically got this for free so oh uh, yeah it was very very interesting but finally I was like I'm done with this yes and then they're like nope just kidding lol there's another set but this time we're just gonna cancel like international shipping until the foreseeable future so <laughs> lol you know and then i was just sitting there thinking what's the next move <laughs> like what am i gonna do now like what how am i gonna get my hanjo photo cards like what's gonna happen so i of course also at the same time as this was happening they gave out like tickets of lotteries so you can get a face and calm i'll get into that continuing forward but i i didn't know what to do with any of those the cards and my whole photo cards so i was like let me just message them so i met message them and i shit you not the day after my the photo card lottery things ended i got a response and of course, they realized that they took too long to reply, so they felt sorry. They were like, oh, I'm so sorry. Let me let me give you extra stuff. 
and the extra stuff was just like an extra little like uh um pop socket i think it was and a mirror and basically a guarantee of the full set but at the same time i i had a lot i might look around for them but i'm pretty sure i probably threw them away because i was just so sad that i i had like a thick stack of like lottery tickets to get into the fan call so i could have talked to hong yo but you know that's besides the point so i don't know if there's a blank pool representative watching this just know i'm a little peed at you obviously if Han Yo joins you again i'm gonna obviously support him but these cards hold hold so much extra meaning to them like i cannot even just begin to explain the emotions i'm feeling even just talking about this so so i was like please is that it and then Hanyo kept talking about like, oh, I'm gonna make myself up. I'm gonna make a, my own personal item for Blink Pool. And then of course, there's another set. Again, you can see Sangyeon in there, but eh, I'll just leave Sangyeon there because he looks attractive. But yes, so they came out with this Legacy, which again, smells so nice. And I honestly use it every day because like, it is just so, it smells so nice. And plus, you got one photo card with one purchase of just this. So, of course, I have like five. Actually, no, that's a lot. I have six. Because KCON for you had a listed, a, a list, a list. Oh my god, it's not that hard to say. A listing for them. But you can only buy one per order. So, I just bought one. Hope that I got lucky with this poster. Like, need I say more? He's so attractive, but yes, I hope that I got lucky. I did not, of course, but I still joined a group order through Hangul Group Orders. This is not, they didn't pay me or anything, I'm just saying, because I really like how they manage everything. But yes, I got a group order for this. That's where I bought my extra five, just in case. And I, I I was like hoping, I was praying that I got the full set and then like I literally paid everything as soon as the, like the EMS and DMS as soon as I could so to guarantee I hopefully like not guarantee but like have a higher chance of getting like the full set and then of course I got the package and again I got the full set and I got the full set of posters too but they're in my closet like I am so um <laughs> That's so sick, but you know, it's true. But yeah, I got the full set of everything for this. And then thankfully, that was the end of Blank Pool and the end of this collection haul. Cause everything else, these are just extras. I don't know if I'm ever gonna sell them or what. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna keep them cause the whole legacy with Blank Pool is just so like, it's just too much. That's why I have it over here as a separate and I did BAE first. Technically, this came before BAE, but I just want this at the end because, like, this is like what should be the end of like, my collection because this is like, whoa, man, this shit is heavy. It's gonna be it. I I hope this method of recording, even though it looks so dumb, works. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I tried. I I definitely talked a lot, but like, I used to I. The first recording was like almost an hour. <laughs> so yeah, as I continually recorded, it got slower and lower and lower. So hopefully this one's pretty enjoyable. It might still be pretty long, but again, thank you so much for watching this. And thank you again so much for the support. Of course, I'm still doing another giveaway after I get my own personal Luna album. So always just keep watching me. And then yeah, that's it for this part of uh, this video specifically. So yes. I love Hangyo so much. I fell for him so hard. Exxon was a blessing. Um, definitely, I really do hope he goes far. He is currently doing an acting gig, which I'm so happy for, and with Doha, of course. Um, so I hope both of them are eating well, everything, resting well, having the time of their lives, and that you guys possibly could support BAE 173 too. I don't know. It would really mean a lot because they're like my old groups next to Luna, which is a big statement. Um, but yeah, 
that's gonna be it hope you guys have a nice day or a night doesn't really matter it's been much go on bye thank you so much for watching i hope this was enjoyable if it was leave a comment down below okay bye